My name's TJ and I literally just don't know how to cook. Like, ever since I've come here, I have not been eating right since Saturday fights, you know. I tell you, like, you, you know, simple toast. It doesn't really work out for me. Like, I swear to make toast, all you do is peel in the toaster and then wait for a bit and pop it out. But for some odd reason, when I make toast, it's a burn. Every, like, it turns out black. Look, I left it for one second. One second. Black. Like, what's his name? You know Mr. Popo from Dragon Ball Z? Black. Dark. I'm, I'm like, wow. I left it for one second and saw that. At this point, I just eat bread. I've literally been eating bread for about six months. I'm stuck. I don't know what to do. I need help. Someone help me. I can't make toast. Toast, man. Sorry. <sighs> Sorry. I don't remember the last time I like cooked food. Like, <sighs> 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 I need some toast, man. Some <sighs> toast. about to make something, you know? Something that I would enjoy. Something I would like, I don't, I don't know, just something that would fill my stomach. I can't just keep eating bread. You know? I need different type of like nutrients. You know, I need more than just carbohydrates. I need some, you know, like, just need something. Anything, I'm seeing like, I'm saying, I'm getting sick from bread. Bagels and bread and just stuff that I don't need to cook to eat. I'm just, like, help me, please. Someone, someone, someone. Mama! 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 Oh! Ha! Oh, ha! I'm gonna teach you how to mix some jello fries. So let's get into the ingredients, you know what I'm saying? Let's go, let's go. So we got the aromat, the all-purpose seasoning. We need all of that. Give me all of that. I need the chopped tomatoes. Give me some of that too. I need that. The whole can, I need the thyme. Because I don't have time. Time's running out. Next to the bay leaves. We need some bay leaves with the extra flavouring. So give me some of that, yeah. Give me some of that tom tomato puree. I need that. Give me some of the bullet rice because we're doing it the Nigerian way, you know what I'm saying? And um, yeah, we've got some stock cubes because the maggot cubes are not available in Guildford. We are not finding none of that. And we got two red onions, two scotch bonnets, and two red bell peppers oh yeah over to you chef t back in my day i used to work with gordon ramsay <gasps> uh yeah we were doing our thing uh, back in the last kitchen i was in the back you know somewhere you know doing my thing while he was going around and doing this thing so i'm going to quickly you know show you how to get this done so you've already seen all the ingredients and in that so to get it started what's the first step all right so obviously the first step is you know, hygiene. Go and make sure your hands are clean. So it's gonna, you know, make sure our hands are nice and clean. All right, so we wash our hands nice and clean. We've got the first set of ingredients over here. We're gonna make our sauce, in fact. So we've got the blender, we've got the uh, scotch white peppers, we've got the two uh, red, sorry, excuse me. Right, what we're gonna do is chop our um, ingredients over here. Obviously, you're gonna make sure Obviously, you've got to make sure that you are being safe when using these sharp um, objects. Yeah, so um, if you didn't know, um, back in my day, back in my youth, in fact, um, I was very familiar. Oh, what, what's that? What? <laughs> Sorry, you know, I forgot to uh, get tripped, you know what I'm saying? My, my facial hair is actually, you know, getting out of hand. But as I was saying, back in my youth, um, I was very familiar with weapons like these. Uh, they used to call me uh, Young T. <gasps> 
Uh, oh, no, watch out. All right, so onto chopping our vegetables. So um, first of all, we got to, you know, get the knife, obviously. We're gonna cut to the part where we've done the, you know, all the cutting and stuff, yeah? Alright, so we have cut up all our vegetables and now to add them into the blender. I was like, you just. I was like, one time, one time. Got to, got to. You see, sometimes in life um, mistakes happen. Got to add the chopped tomatoes. So it's gonna pop all right in there. Pow. Pow. Oh, one last ingredient. It's actually pretty essential. Water. Now before we carry on, can we just say all right piece of this? Tie. See this? That's how I feel. Back to the cooking. We've got everything, everything we need. Finally, we're gonna slap on the uh, blender into place. Yeah, we did that off camera, we diced our onions, we've got a half a cup of oil. Gonna add that to the pot. Don't wanna add that to the pot. Okay. Gonna wait for that to heat up, and once it's heated up, we're gonna add our onions and about three quarters of tomato puree. We are back. Our oil is now hot enough, we can hear it popping in that. So, we are going to add the red onions. So you know they're ready. Just gonna dash all of that in. That's nice and lovely. Give it a quick little stir. Oh, oh, it's like a war zone down there. Whoa! All right. We're just gonna start opening the tub. That's my puree. All right. Just add all of that in there. Just like so. Pow. Okay, so we're going to set a timer for about five minutes. I'll just be stirring it while we're doing it. Alright, so, with the tomato puree and the onions are looking cooked, we are now going to add the blended mixture. Just pop that off the lid. When you pop off the lid, pour that in. Oh, there's a the timer. Just going to try and shut up. Thank you. Yeah, we go, that's pretty much all of it. Oh, right, so we just added this uh, blended mixture. Gonna give it a quick stir, pop on the lid, and leave that to cook for about 15 minutes on medium heat. Right, so now we've got our bags of rice. We have here easy cook long grain rice. Um, we're gonna use about a kilogram, so that's two 500 gram bags each. And we're gonna just take the Mm. Right, whilst battling with the rice, I just remembered something. We need to add some seasoning to the sauce. Now, I'm going to add about three bay leaves. Come over, don't be shy. Pow. A tablespoon of some all-purpose seasoning. Show that up real quick, if you don't mind. Yeah, sounds like maracas. <laughs> Pow, I'll drop that in there. And last but not least, some dried thyme. 
Boom! Give it a quick stir. Wow, smells fantastic. I'm gonna leave that to finish cooking. <coughs> Moving swiftly, the rice. Nice and ready to wash. This is the most important step. We need to ensure that the rice is nice and clean. All right, we do not want some unnecessarily sticky, yucky jollof rice. All right, so our rice is nice, washed and clean. The timer has in fact gone off and we are going to add our washed rice into the sauce. Do you wanna take a look at that real quick before we add it? You see how it's bubbling, looking all nice, voluptuous and juicy. I'm liking it already. Okay. So we're gonna have to also turn this down to a low heat. We're gonna put that down to two. Even if you have a cooker that's one to six. Yeah, put it on two. So we're gonna, you know, add this in. Power. Give it a quick stir. Come over and see this. Yeah, just stir it in. Now we're gonna have to add some water. Now I'm using my uh, protein uh, cup thing. Yeah, just getting some water. We want to add it so that it is just above the level of rice. Don't want to go too high or too low. Oh, I see some rice there, and that should be enough. Gonna stir it again one more time. See that? All lovely. Come on, man. Give it a quick stir. And now we're going to cover it up and leave it for, for 20 minutes. So it's been about 20 minutes. We're just gonna give it another stir. So it's already thickened up. It smells just like it. We're just stirring it for now. And what we're gonna do is when we're done with stirring it for now, we are going to leave it for another 20 minutes. And we are essentially gonna keep doing it until a total of an hour, around an hour, an hour and 10 minutes. And it should be all done. And Seems like the jollof rice, all done and ready. Just look at that. Doesn't that look fantastic? Lovely. Now we're gonna move on to the taste test. So here we have the jollof rice. Let's dig in. Oh, yeah. Now that's some good stuff right there. I'm gonna tell you, that was delightful. If you liked the video, make sure to like, comment and subscribe. You know what I'm saying? For some more recipes, you know, comment them down below and I'll try and cook them. That was my first time ever cooking jollof rice. So, you gotta give me props. You know what I'm saying? Make sure to like, comment and subscribe. If you have any more suggestions, you know what to do. Comment them down below and I'll try and cook it. So yeah, it's your boy, Chef T. And we out. Yo, mmm. This is rice. <laughs> no. Thank you, Chef T. You've changed my life. <laughs>